On this new technology spotlight, Power TV takes a look at the latest in camshaft nitrating, Pro Plasma from CompCams. Hi, I'm Billy Godbold. I'm here at the CompCams facility here in Memphis, Tennessee, and today I'm going to talk to you about nitrating. This machine right here is what we have for nitrating camshafts. Now you guys have probably all heard about nitrating. You know, I go, well, what is nitrating? Well, nitrogen, nitrating is all about getting nitrogen into iron or steel. And we slam it in with this thing. This guy right here, this is a big, big bell like you'd see to do a vacuum. We can stack two layers of camshafts in here, put about 80 camshafts at a time. What we do is this bell comes down and we suck all the air out. And we get down to like less than a thousandth of an atmosphere. After you suck the air out, then you put some nitrogen back in and you charge the particles, you charge the wall, you charge everything and take all the electrons off the of nitrogen. Well, nitrogen doesn't like anything but itself. So what nitrogen does is it forms these chains. And as we're entering the nitrogen into the system and we have the cam standing here, the nitrogen just rams down into the camshaft. Now some of the nitrogen comes in like an arrow and it goes deep into the system. Other nitrogen comes in flat and lays down. These form like roller bearings all over the surface, so it forms like a coating. Some other nitrogen comes in and lays in halfway, and what that does is form an intermediate. So you've got the hard, deep layer, then you've got the slick layer on top, and you've got an intermediate layer. Now to do this right, you have to have really, really good controls. And that's where this system comes in. We bought this whole system from a company in Germany called Eltropulse, and they're the world's leader in pulse plasma nitriding. This system controls the flow of four gases, the temperature of each part of the chamber, the lower up to the top five sessions. You can see the temperature here, the voltage here as we're running it up to voltage, and you can see the current flowing through it. So by doing this, we can control each section, every aspect of how this machine operates. And what that lets you do is assure that every time we get the same treatment. This treatment takes 36 hours to process a camshaft. People go, well, why do I need to nitride my cam? Well, when you run this nitrider, you create this hard, slick surface that makes less friction and better performance in your engine. It's especially important today with today's motor oils because motor oil companies have been forced to remove some ZDPs from the oil. And that zinc phosphate in the oil created a slicker surface, created less galling. Well, now that that's gone because of the TAC catalytic converters, we use this system to come back in there and provide insurance to create a harder, slicker surface. If you want to, we can show you a camshaft over here before and after. Before we process the camshaft, we have to clean it really good. Because remember, we're putting it down in vacuum. You know, so it's going to boil out anything or mess up anything in it. So these guys clean the camshaft off the best they can. Then they come back, run brushes through it, alcohol through it, and hang these up vertically in the machine. From this point, this camshaft's brought up to about 500 degrees Fahrenheit, 380 degrees Celsius. At that point, they start introducing the gases. And they bring up the temperature a little bit more, and then they start pounding it with the nitrogen. Remember, some needles coming in straight, some laying down flat, some coming in between. All this brings the hardness up from about 50 Rockwell to a surface hardness as high as 70 Rockwell. And those ones that come in like an arrow, they can penetrate up to 70 thousandths deep. After we get it up to temperature, what we do is run it for 24 hours at the nitrating stage, and then cool it off and bring a black oxide stage. And what the black oxide stage does is create a better surface that won't rust, so it's not corrosion resistant. In other words, unlike a normal camshaft, I can put my bare hand on it, let it go, and it's not going to be all rusty a couple days later. So we get this surface, get it all cleaned up, get it ready to go, and when you get it, you get a camshaft that looks like this. The only process we have left is we'll polish the journals for aesthetic reasons and just make it the cam look pretty, and it's ready to go in your engine, and you won't have anything to worry about. <music>